But the reason we focus so heavily on light is that light is the main way that the central clock, the superchiasmatic nucleus was supposed to be set. We know that because it's the only direct input to the clock. These neurons in the eye that are also part of the brain that we call melanopsin ganglion cells that not so incidentally were discovered by my friend and colleague, David Burson at Brown University and others, Samar Hatar, King Waiyao, et cetera, worked out the mechanisms, the molecular mechanisms, but it was really David Burson that discovered these incredibly fascinating non, you know, these are cells that aren't important for sight, like pattern vision, but are for setting our clocks. David's really credited with making that discovery. Those cells are the main way and the only direct way to set the clock. In fact, it's fair to say that light viewed by these melanopsin cells, particular sunlight, is a thousand to 10,000 times more effective than say getting up in darkness and just exercising. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't exercise early in the day in darkness if that's what you like to do. It will have somewhat an effect on raising your wakefulness early in the day and setting this, these rhythms. And this is because of some other pathways 